Good morning, folks. On this Friday the 13th, we'll examine a nightmare for climate scientists, news from the cold dark of space, and we've got the table of contents and full cover preview of our book, which is kind of scary too. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on the sun were mostly quiet. No low latitude coronal holes, no eruptive activity, and the sunspot groups on the south are happily chugging along without significant flaring. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm as well. Folks, this must have been a rough way to go to sleep for Nevadans. Not quite the highest magnitude of the last 24 hours, but in that location, it is the top shake of the day. Folks, the Philippines is very flooded where this typhoon ran overhead, and it is heading for Vietnam next. Landfall tonight, and then a run northwest up the coastline through the weekend. Let's gear over to space science and start with XMM Newton's X-ray shot at the cosmic furnace. This galaxy cluster is heating the internal plasmas to hundreds of millions of degrees, one of the hottest sustained features we know of. We've also got eye candy from Chandra, optical, then X-ray signature of similarly heated gases, and the composite of the nebula, this one heated by the nova, not by photoionization of a galaxy cluster. The next story leads us into some more eye candy and a cosmological lesson. These gorgeous features and radio waves from the VLA are found in the Perseus Cluster, and they are very cool to see. But by far the coolest thing in the Perseus Cluster is the great rippling wave seen in X-rays, again, by Chandra. They think a passage by a dwarf galaxy caused a ripple to form, somehow, and propagate. In reality, it's probably the internal magnetism of the system. Despite how detailed their model might look, Reality of processed images shows they are merely scratching the surface of describing observables, not describing the essence of the form or its character. Last bit of eye candy here is from NASA, Hubble, Keck, and Northwestern. Gorgeous animation of a kilonova from a stellar merger. Magnetic fields of the magnetar come after with the cosmic jet blast out north and south. Problem for me is, this is what they've got. That's it. Anything from space plasma in the way to smaller nova in the distant galaxy to aliens flashing a cosmic laser pointer at the satellite as a prank, you gotta have more than this for that animation. Anyway, you've heard of the new green deal, the great green deal, it's all the same, but it turns out it's not so great, not so green. Europe's top climate scientist's answer to the problem is to shift the burden of production and disposal elsewhere so that at least their books look cleaner. Climate change real, climate science utter grant-grabbing garbage. Moving on to something real, folks, these are the other kinds of recurrent nova, the ones we're not so practically worried about in reality. These binaries have one star feeding the other, accumulating material in the outer atmosphere, building pressure inside and a blast off of the outer shell with a snake left inside to shed again someday. Folks, there is something that plasma physics demands run through the galaxy. It delivers a cyclical one-two punch that can do the same thing to our sun, the solar micronova is the only way to explain the isotopes, impactors, and ice age at the same time as the magnetic excursion, which is well underway on Earth again now. People often ask me what the peak eruption from our star would look like, and their imaginations are no less qualified than mine. This is the 12,000-year cycle peak. We already know that everything on the sun scales and cycles from the 11-year sunspot cycle to the 1,000, 3,000, and 6,000-year superflare cycles. There is indeed just that one more harmonic at 12,000. Folks, if you care to pause and take down or peruse the table of contents for the new book, please be my guest. I also want to thank Dr. Dunning for all his help, support, and for giving the community a kind reminder that just watching videos on the internet is not going to cut it. Humans survive every 12,000 year event. We're just going to need a bit more preparation than our ancestors who already lived as if. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.